update on Mobile County and Baldwin County. We'll start with Baldwin County. Highway 98 in downtown <coughs> Foley, the road that goes east-west. That intersection is flooded, so that is closed. So you can't go down 59 mm -hmm. and then go right past 98. That that's a no go tonight. It is flooded. Yeah, it is just an all out mess out there. Uh, we want to get you updated on the situation in Mobile County. Joining us live now on the phone is Nancy Johnson from the Mobile County Commission. Nancy, thank you so much for joining us tonight. Glad to help out. We were talking earlier about just how bad the roads are, and you say your number one concern is for drivers to stay off the roads. Exactly. Uh, there are so many problems now. Uh, we have so many roads um, that are hazardous that we're, we're just telling uh, folks to stay off the roads now. Um, we have lots of flooding um, everywhere in the county, and uh, in those places that aren't flooding yet, the ditches are building with water. So it's really hazardous. Is, is there any particular part of the county where the flooding is worse, maybe like in, in Bilo Battery Grand Bay, or is it all over the place? It really is everywhere. I mean, you know, Bellingrath, Old Pascagoula, McDonald Road, um, numerous subdivisions, Snow Road, Tanner Williams, Newman, Leroy Stevens. Um, we have water over the road, you know, in so many places now. And um, we're just trying to get out the warning that it's, it's, it's treacherous out there and, and uh, motorists should stay home if they possibly can. And we've had almost 10 inches of rain, so th there's no place for this stuff to go. That's exactly right. Um, and even once uh, the water goes down, if you can't see the roadway, we're saying to stay off the roads because we don't know what this has done to the road structure itself. Mm -hmm. um, you know, and, and, and the... Uh, the pipes that go under them, and we're afraid that the roads will give out. On the lines of that, Nancy, I mean, how long do you expect it to take for the waters to recede? Um, I don't know, and we will have our crews out. We're trying to put, we are putting out warning signs everywhere, trying to keep people off roads where we know there are um, hazards. Um, and we'll just have to wait and see. The ground is saturated, and uh, there's, you know, it's standing at this point. Mm -hmm. Nancy Pierce from the uh, public school system said that uh, the school system is going to send out the bus route supervisors in the morning to, uh, to check out their, their routes. Is it even safe for people to go out and do that? Uh, we are advising you to stay off the roads. You know, um, we already hear the water rescues that are going on. Uh, right now we, we've had uh, information about some rescues in the Theodore area. I think it's a hazard out there and at this point we're saying you shouldn't be out on these roadways. Hmm. So do you anticipate you know schools uh, being open at the the proper time tomorrow or do you think it's going to be delayed? I can't even guess, but I know that our road crews will be out there and they'll be reporting early in the morning. All right, thank you very much, uh, Nancy Johnson for Mobile County. We appreciate you joining us tonight. Yes, all right, thank we, you for your help. Thank you, Nancy. And mm -hmm. this is all because of the heavy amount of rain that we're getting out there. I mean, it's still coming down right now. I can hear it mm -hmm. from our studios outside. Let's take it over to our chief meteorologist.